had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go Hey friends, thanks so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we are gonna be decorating for fall. Finally, I am so excited to share all of my fall home decor with you guys. And I'm gonna leave my last video linked in the description box if you guys wanna know where anything is from. I kinda did like a tour of all the decor that I have in my home, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you and let's get right into it to it. We're starting out in the kitchen today. I wanted to switch out my dish soap and my hand soap for some fall scented things. And I love this reusable bottle from the Grove Collaborative. I always leave my link in the description box if you guys wanna check out some of the products there. But I'm gonna be kind of hopping a little bit between the bathroom and the kitchen. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I love decorating for fall. It is one of my favorite seasons other than Christmas to decorate for. And I will also link last year's fall clean and decorate with me too. I think I did mostly decorating in that video as well just a little bit of cleaning here and there and if you guys want some even more fall inspiration then you want to check out that video too And I have to know whether you guys are still into tiered trays or not. I have seen so many differing opinions over on Instagram. And by the way, if you guys don't follow me over on Instagram, then give me a follow because I do post a lot of daily updates and stuff over there. But I've seen some people kind of switch from the tiered tray to not loving it as much anymore. They're just kind of tired of it and over it. And then I see tons of people like me that still think that they are super fun. So let me know what you guys are. Are you team tiered tray or team no tiered tray. Also, let me know what your style is down in the comments as well because I always like to know why you guys are watching my video. Is it because you enjoy the same style? I kind of have more of like that farmhouse, modern farmhouse style. Or do you like watching these kinds of videos to see how other people decorate their homes even if it's not your style? Let me know what you guys are into down in the comments. You say me to Yeah, I need don't you need me to do? Cause I got you. So we're moving on to this little shelf that I have over here in the corner of my kitchen. You guys, I wish that I had a house that was big enough for a true hutch where I could put like all kinds of cute stuff out on it. But for right now, while I only have one dining area in my home, this is gonna have to make do for now. And I just love putting like cute little things on it, displaying my mugs that are super cute. I've got some creamer, like little pitchers to pour creamer and stuff like that. But we're gonna continue to move throughout the house. I'm gonna move on to the living room now and you guys just wait. The living room is probably my favorite place in the whole house to decorate. Travel the world. 
Watching all of this footage back, I can see all the little things that I changed because I did go back, like I said, and change some stuff. Decorating is a process, guys. You always decorate, walk away from it for a little while, come back, fix it, change it. It's just kind of how it goes, and it's all part of the process. I really do love that decorating is such a creative thing, and I don't give myself like too much grief. I try not to be hard on myself and I try to just give myself grace and say, I'm going to walk away from this. I'm going to see how I feel in an hour or two. And I think you guys will see by the end of the video in the walkthrough that a couple of the little changes that I made here and there really did make a big difference. Suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy Still don't have anything on the left side of the fireplace here so if you guys have any suggestions for something that would look great in that spot then let me know in the comments because I went back to the store I think it was yesterday and I just I just looked around for something that was like inspiring to me that like would look good in that spot and I really just couldn't find anything and I don't even know if I have anything in particular in mind but if you guys do then let me know I did see when I was at Target the cutest ottoman that is currently in the thread threshold collection and oh my gosh I kind of want to go back and get it I was talking to Jack about it but it's like $98 and it's not very big so I'm not completely sure if it's worth it or not but I feel like I'm gonna sleep on it for a few days and if I am still thinking about it then I might just go back and get it and at least bring it home and see how it looks let me know if you guys are like that too you have to see it in your space to know whether you want to keep it or not I have bought so many things and then just returned it because it just didn't end up working with what I wanted so now I'm on top of my kitchen countertops and I'm just gonna kind of refresh this area on top of all of my cabinets. I had tons of stuff up here that was very spring and summery. And if you guys watched my spring decorate with me, then you remember when I put all this up here, but it definitely needs to be changed out for fall. So I just kind of swapped out some of the foliage for some more fall colors and just tried to make it overall look a little more neutral. I think that neutral is better because then you don't have to constantly redecorate for every single season. I will let my guard down I wanna laugh out loud Talk a little deeper Kiss a little harder I wanna laugh out loud Talk a little deeper Kiss a little harder Love a little louder Love a little louder Love a little louder 
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down guys today is the second day that I have been decorating I've just been making a few changes kind of off camera because I'm going to walk you guys through all of the decor and let you guys know where everything is from I think I like where I have everything if you see anything that you would change or you have some suggestions then please leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to like I said let you know where everything is from as I walk through like the whole house with you guys so let's get to it. All right, so the only thing that I did as far as the bed and any bedding goes is I added this blanket to the end of the bed and then this orange pillow that I had shared with you guys in my like fall decor tour video. Um, I went through like all my fall decor and tried to tell you guys where that is from. So I'll link that video if you guys are interested in that, but pretty sure that the pillow is from like Home Goods, and then um, this blanket, Jack actually got it for me last year. Well, it's for the cat, but we basically just like share blankets and stuff all the time. Although you can kind of see like she has picked and pulled at um, this blanket just a little bit. So I like to get inexpensive throw blankets like this just because she lays on them. And, you know, if they get a little bit destroyed because of her kneading and stuff, then no big deal, but that is all that I did over here. And then moving over to the dresser area, I did make a few changes. So one change that I did is I added this like kind of like a dresser scarf, but I think it's a table runner and I only have one table in my house, so I don't need two. So the one went downstairs on the kitchen table and then I pulled this one up here and I just think it makes it look so much more cozy, kind of ties in with the orange and stuff on the bedding. And then everything else is pretty much the same. I did have to kind of switch out the florals in this like vase over here because for some reason the grass that was sticking out, Josie was really interested in it. So she kept jumping up here to like chew on it. So I had to put the grass on the mantle so that way it was higher. She can't reach it. Um, those of you who have children and pets, you can probably totally relate when you're decorating. You have to think about like all of these things, but this is how the bedroom's turning out. So this is the only space I decorated upstairs. So we're going to head downstairs and I'll show you guys how that turned out. I have a sleepy little girl here by the door, but I wanted to mention that this is where I ended up putting this fall rug. And then, um, Josie spends tons of her time when someone is home just laying in front of the door. So I put her little bed here so she could lay in the sun and relax. <laughs> I just realized I forgot to tell you guys where everything is from, but you guys can check out my last video that I posted where I kind of like went through all of my home decor and I said where everything is from, but all of the little pumpkins that you see pretty much came in a set from Hobby Lobby. Um, this fall arrangement, I want to say is like Kohl's, um, and then the garland up here is from Target. All the little pumpkins are 
Hobby Lobby and Target. The candlesticks are from Target. I just got them like pretty recently. And then all the fall florals are from Target as well. And actually some of those are from the dollar spot. So always check out the dollar spot. You can get things for pretty cheap there. All right, so I did end up changing out some things on the tiered tray from the last time um, that I filmed a clip of this because I had totally forgotten about these little picks that I got last year at Hobby Lobby. Um, and there's one for, that says like grateful, thankful, blessed, super cute. Um, and so I put these in here. I am obsessed with this rolling pin. This is from Hobby Lobby new this year. The rattan pumpkins are Target, I believe. No, those ones are from Hobby Lobby too. They came in like a set. Um, I have another rattan one that's from Target. And then everything else is all from like Hobby Lobby Target from years past. All these pumpkins and pine cones and stuff. You can always find things like that in packages at Walmart or Hobby Lobby for really inexpensive. They're kind of like vase fillers, but they work for like filling out a tiered tray as well. So I'm really pleased with how this looks. Super cute. So I switched out the sign here on the wall. So now it looks a little bit more fall-like. I kind of wish I could find a small fall wreath to put here instead of the eucalyptus, but it'll do for now. And then you may have noticed that when I was standing up on the countertops, I was just changing out some decor on top of the cabinet. So I just put a pumpkin up there with a little bit of like fall leaves and stuff. And then over here on this side, so I did leave the greenery here. I could probably stick some pumpkins in there if I got like another pack. So I might do that. I haven't decided yet whether I need to get anything else. Um, just kind of took down the spring stuff that was up there. And then over here, I added some more like fall colors. So everything is fairly neutral. It's just pretty easy to like trade out, you know, certain pieces and stuff for the different seasons. Here I've got my little soap station. I have a reusable dish soap bottle from Grove Collaborative. And then these are just like Mrs. Meyer's hand soap and lotion. And then these little stands are from Hobby Lobby last year. Just kind of like keeps the bottle and stuff off of the granite, which I really like. Here, it's not a big deal just because there's like that little silicone sleeve. So that is the little soap area here at the sink. I didn't go too crazy in the bathroom. I just put another one of those little stands for the hand soap, a little pumpkin, a little candle, and like a festive hand towel. But what I did not show you guys in um, the previous clips because we just hung this up today is this little shelf right here. So it's above the toilet. I have my little Buffalo check tissue thing here. I have this little shelf here and then above it, I have again, another little wreath, but I kind of want to switch that out for something more fall. We'll see, but I love this shelf. So I found it the other day at Kohl's. It was mega on sale and I had um, like a $10 coupon thing, which is why I got this. And I am pretty obsessed because one, I can decorate on it and it has like this nice little ledge here. So you could even put like photos or like, you know, something that would lean against the wall, like a print or something like that. So I'm still kind of playing around with how I want to style this, but I thought it'd be a good idea to have like the Q-tips out here. I could get like another thing with cotton balls or cotton rounds and put that in here. I have like some of my like skincare, hair care, just like nicer things out that, you know, they, they take up less room under the counter if I put it up here. And then my jade roller, and then I just put a little pumpkin up here just to kind of see how it would look. But I really, really like how this turned out. It's very shallow, which is definitely what I wanted. I didn't want anything too deep. It's not even as deep as like the um, lid here of the toilet is. So perfect, absolutely perfect for this wall. I really love how this turned out. And then here's another view so you can kind of see how the shelf looks here from the doorway. I really, really, really love it. It's perfect. Last thing I wanted to mention, because I forgot when I was in the kitchen here, is this just little area. I put um, this green dish my aunt gave me, little rattan pumpkin, and then I've got my little mini Ray Dunn um, like utensils. I don't know if I have ever... I think I've showed you guys these before in a video, but they're like little, like Ray Dunn, they're mini utensils, so they're perfect. But this little corner just looks so cute now. And that's gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you got tons of inspiration for decorating your home for fall from this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And I will see you guys again really soon with a brand new one.
Bye, guys. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no war.